one of the midos that we try to reinforce with our children from the time that they are very small is be happy with what you have and what Hashem gave you and don't be jealous of other people. And a beautiful example of that is in our parsha, the famous story of Rachel and Leah. When Yaakov is about to marry Rachel and love on changes, switches Leah for Rachel, Rachel decides at that moment she doesn't want her sister to be embarrassed in front of Yaakov. So she shares the secret signs that Yaakov gave her with Leah so that Leah doesn't become embarrassed. We can almost imagine for a moment the incredible power and strength that Rachel has not to be jealous of her sister. And that is why we recognize Rachel as Rachel Imenu Rachel, our mother, not just physically, but spiritually, through her behavior, through her character, through who she was as a representation of what we want our children to be. But there's a problem. Because later on in our Parsha, after Leah is blessed with children, the Pasuk says, Vatekane Rachel Ba'achosa, that Rachel is jealous of her sister. So how can it be this Rachel, who was had incredibly sterling behavior earlier in the Parsha, at the greatest, supposed to be the happiest moment of her life, later on in the Parsha is seen as someone who is jealous of her sister. So the Chesed Lavram explains as follows. He says, take a look at Rashi. Rashi tells us that indeed Rachel was jealous of her sister. But she was jealous of her sister in a way in which one is permitted to be jealous. In other words, yes, there is jealousy, and in general, to be jealous of someone else is a terrible thing. But there's also a jealousy which is a positive thing. And Rashi tells us that Rachel was jealous of Leah b'ma'asim hatovim. She had kina, she had jealousy because she saw her sister's behavior, her sister's character, and she was jealous of her sister. As Chazal tells us, tell us that when it comes to kina sofrim, tar bechochma, that one is permitted to have kina, to have jealousy of tamidei chachamim, of people who invest themselves in Torah, and we are able to be jealous of them, almost as to incentivize ourselves, that we should be able to come become like them. And the Chesed Lavram points out the difference between jealousy which is bad and jealousy which is good is the jealousy that we are able to have an impact on versus the jealousy we are not able to have an impact on. If I am jealous of someone who is very wealthy and Hashem did not bless me with that wealth, well, that jealousy of Chazal, our rabbis tell us, is really about my anger, my hatred, Rachman al-Islam, to Hashem, that he made that person wealthy and not me wealthy. But the jealousy which is good is that when I look at someone and I say, wow, look how much chesed that person does. Or I say, look how much time that person puts into their learning. Or I say, look at that person's stellar midos. I want to be like them. And whereas the first type of jealousy, I have no power. I have no ability within my power to shape a change. It's all up to Hashem, and therefore that kinah is bad. But the kinah of someone else's character, the kinah, the jealousy of someone else's good deeds, that we are permitted to be jealous of, because it incentivizes us to become better people inherently. And that was what Rachel was jealous of here, consistent with Rachel always trying to work on her character and to grow as a person. May we be Zoha to learn from our matriarch, Rachel, and to learn from Leah. The jealousy that Rachel had of Leah here was such that she said, look, she has such beautiful midos, my sister. That's why Hashem blessed her with children before me. And Rachel was hoping that if she followed her sister, that she too would be blessed by with children just like Leah, may we be zoche, may we merit in our lives that if we have jealousy, we have the right type that will hopefully inspire us to become better people and be worthy of Hashem's blessing. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.